Hey guys, what's up? I'm going to address pivots in Unreal 4 because there's some confusion and sort of some problems that people have with pivots and um, instances of meshes and meshes themselves, like the actual mesh in Unreal 4. So I'm going to go over that real quick. So basically, I have my barrel here. My barrel has its pivot at the bottom, but I don't like that. I want the pivot to be in the middle. How do you edit a pivot? Well, you hold the middle mouse and you hold Alt. Because normally the middle mouse is this, but if you hold Alt, then the middle mouse is basically the transform of a uh, pivot. So you can start transforming the pivot if you hold Alt and middle mouse. Now, it's right here, and then I can start moving it with this pivot relative to you know this instance of the mesh. But if I click away and then click back, it doesn't stay. So how do you make it stay? Basically, let's Alt mouse and bring it back to where we want it. Right click while selected on that and then go to pivot and then set set as pivot offset. Obviously there's some other settings you can mess around with, but this is how you keep that pivot relative to that mesh instant instance. So then if I click away and then I click back, it's gonna stay the same, which is sweet. Um, here's the problem that people have. When they grab this mesh, this pivot relative to this one instance of the mesh doesn't apply to all the other instances. So it doesn't apply to the mesh overall. So if I bring out another instance, once again, the pivot is back to where it was originally. And if I bring out another one, once again, it's back to where it was originally. So when you move the pivot around, sort of how I just did, you know, in the editor, relative to the mesh and all, it's, it's relative to that single mesh instance. So let's, let's address that overall. How do I drag out this mesh and as many instances of it as I want with this pivot point. Let's go over that because that's what a lot of people actually have to go to. So if we double click this, we'll see the we'll see the mesh, right? And in here, you can see if you click show pivot point, you can see that original pivot point, the, the actual pivot point of the mesh, which you always get when you drag an instance of it out into the editor. Um, here it is. The way you edit it, you you can't. You literally cannot edit it. I'm sorry, that's <laughs> evidently. Unreal does not currently have a way to edit a mesh's um, pivot point, its original pivot point. I don't know why, it seems a little bit absurd and it's actually frustrating because I can see it, right? We can all see it and we know what we wanna do with it, but you just can't edit it. Okay, so so what do we do now? Um, there's two two things you can do and then there's sort of a, so there's sort of a just work around, which I'm gonna tell you. The first two things are, there's plugins. There's plugins where you can edit um, the pivot points of meshes themselves. Um, but those usually cost money. And then there's the other thing you could do is use an external program, uh, DCC or mesh editor in general, and then you can move the pivot point around in there and then bring it back into Unreal. Um, the plugins are the most convenient, but they cost money. Um, the external programs are sort of inconvenient, um, but some of them are free, you know, but either way, both of those are kind of a bummer because e either money or something else. Obviously, the plugins are the best, but they cost cash, so this all just sucks in general. We wish Unreal would just allow us to move the dang pivot point considering we can literally see it right here. But anyway, what's our workaround? Basically, um, you could just duplicate the object. Let's say you want multiple barrels, but you want them to all have the same pivot point that you've previously said, you know, because you don't want to have to keep moving the pivot point back to where you want it. All you have to do, get one pivot point to where you want it on one of the objects that you want a whole ton of, and then just duplicate it. Just duplicate it a whole bunch, and it will save that, um, the pivot point in its new instances. And that's sort of the workaround for this whole thing. Obviously, once again, I wish that Unreal would do this. We all do, but currently it doesn't allow us to actually move the pivot of the mesh itself. So we just have to duplicate, and that's sort of the workaround. Um, yeah, and that's about it. That's that's one of the main problems that people have with pivots in this game. So I just wanted to, or in this editor, so I just wanted to address that. A little um, bonus clip, um, just because I want to cover you know, the last thing. Um, you can snap. Um, the pivot point and sort of objects themselves, you, uh, two vertices using the uh, keyboard key V for vertice. So if I were to um, mouse and then press V, I could snap the pivot point to uh, vertices on these stairs. And if I didn't uh, transform the pivot point and I just transformed the object and held V, then I could see the pivot points on these stairs to my left. Oh, yeah. Then I could see the pivot points on the uh, stairs to my, if I can grab it, sorry guys. And I could see the pivot points on the stairs to my left and I could just snap them there. And then I could see it again, just snap them there. So V is to snap to vertices for either any form of transform. 
So uh, anyway, that's just a little bit of a bonus clip. All right, uh, I hope that guys, I hope that helped you guys. I encountered this problem. It took me a little while to figure it out. Uh, I hope this uh, sort of summarized in a good way. Uh, I will see you guys later.